Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Raspberry Pi to 2 GHz. Stock is 1.5, so that's a 500 MHz gain, which is actually pretty decent for such a small single board computer. A quick note, if you're planning on overclocking your own Raspberry Pi, you'll definitely need some sort of active cooling. A simple heatsink won't do the job. I highly recommend you use the GeekPi aluminium case with an included CPU fan, which I've taken a look at in one of my previous videos, or some sort of similar case with active cooling, or even the new ice towel, which will keep the Pi absolutely chilly while you are at 2 GHz. And by the way, you're following this tutorial at your own risk, and I won't be responsible for any damage. Now enough with the warnings and let's get straight into it. First of all, you'll need to switch to your Raspberry Pi and open the terminal. Now update the Pi by typing sudo apt update. Then go ahead and type sudo apt dist upgrade. Once you've done that, you'll need to reboot your Pi in order to apply the changes by typing sudo reboot. As soon as you've rebooted, open up the terminal again to monitor the current CPU speed by typing the following command. As you can see, at our current load we're idling at around 1.5 GHz. Alright, now to overclock, open up another terminal window and type the following command. Now scroll down to the overclock section. All you've got to do is change the voltage and the frequency to the following. Now save the changes by pressing Ctrl X. Once again we'll need to reboot the Pi in order to save our changes. You can now check on your Pi CPU frequency. Just type in the command we used earlier. Straight away you can see that we've got around 1.75 GHz. If your Raspberry Pi is having some trouble handling this, or even overheating too much, you can just lower the frequency until everything works fine. But if you're not having any trouble, we can now move on to the next stage which is overclocking it to 2000 MHz. In order to do that, you'll need to go back to the config.txt file and locate the voltage and frequency section as before. Then update the voltage to 6 and the frequency to 2000. If you really want to, you can even overclock your GPU by changing the frequency to 600. Once you've done that, just press Ctrl X, then Y for yes and finally hit enter in order to save the changes. After that, you'll need to reboot again. Now, let's test the frequency by opening up the CPU monitor and putting some load on the Pi. As you can see, the Pi has been successfully overclocked to 2000 MHz. But apart from this, that would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you're interested in accessing your Pi remotely or even installing different operating systems on it, just go ahead and check out my previous videos. And if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related content, and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.